Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to batch rename files. So one of the problems switchers have when coming from Windows is that it's not very easy to batch rename files in Mac OS X. In Windows, there's an F2 key that allows you to do a bunch of different things. But in Mac OS X Snow Leopard, you can use Automator to do that and much more. Let's take a look. So look in your Applications folder for Automator. And when you first run it, you'll get asked to choose a template. Just choose the default, which is Workflow. This gives you a blank workflow to the right. On the left, we can choose from various different actions that Automator can do. You can search for one or you can click on a category here. Let's look in Files and Folders and one of the first items is Ask for Finder Items. We're going to select that and we're going to drag that into this area here. Now you get to define some things like what the prompt says, uh, where to start at the desktop, and in this case we want to allow multiple selections of files. Of course the whole point of batch rename is to select multiple files and have them all renamed. So the next thing we want to do is we want to rename these files. Let's do a search here for rename and we can see there is an item here that matches the rename finder items. If we drag that underneath this one we'll get to add it. Now it's going to give us a warning about this particular one that it's going to basically rename these items and there's also a way for us to copy the originals so we don't destroy the originals with the new ones that have been renamed. We don't want to do that in this case. We're just going to go and rename the files right away without any problem. So now we've got two steps here in the workflow. The first is to choose multiple files and the second is to do something with them. So we can do various things in a rename. We can add the date or time, we can add text, change the case, make sequential replace text or name a single item. Let's start with a simple one like replace text. We're going to go and look for this text, the word audio, uh, in the full name of the file and we're going to ignore case there and we're going to replace it with this word, sound. Now we don't have to create a full workflow and save it for future use. We can just run this one here just this one time which is what we're going to do. We're going to run it and on the desktop I've got a folder called test. In there I've got a bunch of files named audio with a number after it. By selecting all of these I selected the first one, shift, and selected the last one to select them all. I'm going to choose them all and it's going to go ahead and it's going to tell me what it did and if I go ahead and look in this folder now I can see that it indeed renamed all these files from audio 003 to sound 003.wav. So I successfully did a batch rename replacing text. Now we can try different things. Like instead of replacing text, for instance, we can make them sequential. Now when we make them sequential there's a lot of different things we can do. For instance, we can go ahead and add a number to the existing name or add a number to the new name. So let's rename all the files that we're going to select and just rename them with a word and then place the number after the name, start at number 1, separate by nothing so there's no dash or space or anything like that. And we can make all the digits two, all the numbers two digits long or we can leave that unselected. We'll go and we'll run this. We'll select the same folder here all the sounds in it and do it. Now we look in the folder and we see the results are all of the files have been renamed media and a number .wav sequentially. Other things you can do include just simply adding text either after or before or to as the extension to a file. We can go and add the date or time and it gives you lots of options like you can take the created date, modified date, last opened or the current date. You can change the format it's in, separators, things like that. You can go ahead and change the case of the base name or the entire name or the extension, lowercase, uppercase or titles for capitals for each word. Now if you think you're going to do this pretty often you can go ahead and save this workflow. You can save it as either a workflow to be opened up in Automator which will allow you to edit and change things. You can also save it as a standalone application which then you can just run instantly but you won't be able to change these options. Another way you could do this is you can actually use the get folder contents to get the entire contents, all the files in a folder. So the first thing you want to do is ask for folder items again but this time set type to be folders and not allow multiple selection. Then you use get folder contents below that. So this will ask for a folder. This will go ahead and then ask uh, get all the files in that folder and then you can go ahead and do a rename here and it will rename all of the files in a folder. So you don't have to select all the items. 
This could be a little less versatile but if it's what you need to do all the time it's a little quicker to use. So there's how you batch rename files in Mac OS X using Automator. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>